What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Can Sony be stopped? Boy, 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 only time will tell. We've got new consoles, we got the new Nintendo Switch out right now, which could be eating into that Sony mindshare. And then at the end of the year, we're going to have the Xbox One Scorpio coming out. And supposedly, that's going to be big competition for Sony's flagship console. But right now, Sony's on top again. Sony continues to win. They're like Donald Trump. They win, win, win. Uh, I, I think that we're going to get tired of winning because PlayStation wins every single month. Because once again, Sony has topped the sales charts uh, for the NPD group in February. I'll drop a link in the description. PlayStation 4 top sales charts again in February. As expected, PlayStation 4 was the best-selling console in February, according to a release by the NPD group. After Microsoft had a stellar summer and an early fall in 16, the PlayStation 4 and Slim hit the market and Sony's been back in charge ever since. A Sony rep confirmed to GameStop that the PlayStation 4 did indeed retain its dominance throughout the short month. Microsoft, meanwhile, didn't have much to boast about. Last month, Microsoft said the Xbox One had its best January sales yet, and that it was the only console to see higher sales this year over the previous. For the month of February, though, Microsoft said that the game hours in February were up 11% over last year, while unique multiplayers grew by 35% compared to the same period in 2016. More people are using their Xbox consoles, but it's still not nearly as big a feather in the cap as last month. Microsoft's marketing head, Mike Nichols, attributed the increased level of engagement to Halo Wars 2, For Honor, and surprisingly, the backwards compatibility of Grand Theft Auto 4. As for what we see this time next month, it's anyone's guess. If Nintendo can keep the Switch consoles coming, the players are still buying them. They might take the top spot in hardware for the first time in a very long time. So it's really an exciting time to be a gamer. I'm not surprised at all that PlayStation won February, but of course March is going to be a different story. Uh, I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a hell of a month. You know, uh, the Nintendo Switch the first week of sales outpaced the Nintendo Wii which is a huge deal. And of course, you can't find the Switches anywhere unless you walk into maybe a Walmart way out in the boondocks and they have one in the back. The PlayStation has established dominance. I think that games like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn have really kept people focused on the PlayStation brand for the month. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. What can we expect next month? Do you guys think the Nintendo Switch could possibly take that hardware sales crown from PlayStation for the month of March. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can share your videos and support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.